Okay, folks, uh, as some of you may know, we bought a trailer last fall that we're going to use to move all the contents from from Mama's house out to Journey's End. And uh, we picked up this trailer for $800 from my brother, but, it, you know, obviously it's pretty rough and needs some work. Well, one of the things we're working on right now is is the jack right here, and it's frozen, froze up. It won't move. It's pretty stiff. So, and the thing of it is, to replace it, this thing is welded on here. So I'm going to have to cut that out with a torch. And um, went to Central Tractor. We bought a new one. Uh, let me move this over here. There we go. Bought a brand new one. And instead of just welding it in, I made up a plate. You see that plate there? I made a plate up out of half-inch steel. Uh, I drilled, drilled and tapped the holes. So we can unbolt it. Then to save a little bit of money, I made up a, a foot to go on the bottom of it. Because to buy one of those, that's that's probably about 25 bucks. So anyhow, got some tools, got a, a grinder and some clamps, got a torch to cut the the old crank out, and a small little 110 MIG welder, which will get the job done. But yeah, this is this is our trailer. Like I said, it's a little dented up. For 800 bucks, you can't ask for much. And as you can see, it'll it's pretty good size. It's 10 foot long, five foot wide, with uh, I believe six foot ceilings. So we'll be able to we'll be able to put quite a bit in there. So, well, let's get started. Okay, get to work here. Cut that off, I'll grind it up, and we'll weld the new one on. Okay. Uh, let's grind this sucker. Might be a little loud. Not too bad. All right, now we weld it. Give you a little close up. 
it. Now we're just going to weld that right on there. take a minute but I'll show you I just got a little bit of a little bit of spot welds on there for now just enough to hold it got the clamps on there so yeah, I'm gonna weld weld all the way across on both sides or maybe not quite all the way across but a good chunk of it okay I got got this all welded up on here as you can see I, didn't, I only went I left a uh, a space in the middle it doesn't need to be welded all the way okay there's the foot that I made now I'm just gonna slap a little bit of paint on there uh, you know no sense in letting it rust up so so yeah I'm gonna slap the paint on there paint this little foot bolt it back together and I'll be all done okay it's all done so yeah we uh, got it all bolted on there painted up a little nice Got the foot all painted, and this thing spins like easy as, easy as pie. You can see it's going down. So there's that. There's the one we took out. Like I said, this thing was all rusted up, frozen up, pretty rough shape. So yeah, that didn't even have a foot on it. So, yeah, there's the old one, and there's the new. That's it. Okay, folks, we're doing some more trailer stuff. Um, I didn't get a video of me changing this, but I put a new crank on uh, Janet's smaller trailer. Uh, here's the old crank. It had a bad tire on it, so it was easier just to change the whole thing. But uh, that's... That's her, her little trailer, and there's Oreo, Oreo, meow, what's your problem? So anyhow, um, the next thing we're doing is, uh, we're going to be doing a wiring harness and uh, putting in, in, the, in the tow hitch. Um, I didn't get a video of this either, but... Oh, already put Oreo you're in the picture I already put the new hitch on I went over to a friend's house and did that you know that took a few hours that would have been interesting to see but I already got that part done but what I'm going to be doing right now is putting in the new wiring harness so she can have some trailer lights and I got to take this panel off this inside and get to the wiring harness in there and I'll probably run the wires down I don't know if I can get them underneath this or if I can go through the floor or not I got the dust cover off underneath so hopefully hopefully I can uh, run it through a plug in the floor and have it come out the back like they like they're supposed to so well, see what we can do here 
Okay, I got some of the paneling torn off, and what I had to, what I have to do is I had to get behind here, and I don't know if you can. Oh, that's really far back there. I don't know if you can see this little plug right there. I got my finger on it. That's where the new wire harness is going to plug into. Um, to get to that, first I had to peel off the weather stripping. I had to pop out all the tabs along here. I had to take the bottom bottom uh, shield off. There was another one here. And then right up in here, there was a couple screws behind a panel that I had to get to. So, yeah, I, so this is so I can pull this one back. And so, I can, oh, man, you can hardly see that. But there's a little plug back there. And... That'll match up to that, along with the ground wire. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So I just got to plug that into that there, hook up a ground wire. Then there's this uh, little control module. Comes with two-sided tape that you could stick it to the inside of the paneling somewhere. But I might use a self-tapper through this screw hole because that would probably hold it a lot better. But, uh, yeah, that's... That's where I'm at. So next is to try to dig back there and get to that wiring harness and plug this in. Okay. Uh, I already got some of that clip back on, but I got the wiring harness plugged in, the ground wires on. So we're just going to route this underneath here. I guess this thing just lays in the trunk. So when you need it, you just pull it out and drape it over to the side. Uh, so now I just, I got to finish putting all the all the paneling back up and on and across across the bottom through through a couple screws in it hi babes say hi to janet where's the kitten i don't know i saw him helping you he ran away he's like i had enough of this so yeah right. okay it's time for another trailer update this is the inside of our trailer and um that's the base to a shelf that has casters on it. We have a bunch of these and we want to be able to put them in and out of the trailer and, you know, roll them in and out. Um, but seeing how they're on casters are going to move all over the place. So what I'm going to do is along the wall here, you can see where the seam is. They originally had just thin plywood put over it. You can see I replaced this sheet on this side, but that's how they covered up the seam. So I peeled that off, and what I got is I got uh, just some cheap pine one by one by four boards, and I'm going to screw those on to the wall right here in the framing, um, right along, and then after I screw them on the wall. I'm going to screw on these little brackets so we have something that we can strap bungee cords to or rope or whatever. But these are going to be going along the wall so our shelves, when the uprights are on, on, uh, on the shelf, we'll be able to strap them to the wall to keep them from moving around. So I'm going to do one long board on this side and then on this side just one short board up to the door. So we'll have one shelf on this side of the trailer and two shelves on this side of the trailer. So, things we're gonna need for this job is I got some screws left over from the barn, but these uh, these are self-tappers. They tap right into metal uh, and through wood. I got my clamps, uh, just a drill with a quarter inch drive, a saw, so I can cut my boards and then the most important thing is coffee. You got to have coffee. It's really hot out today. So in this kind of heat, you want to make sure you stay hydrated. So you got to drink lots of coffee. So, so stay tuned. Okay, before I get started, first thing I got to do is I got to mark where the frames, the frame of the trailer is. So when I screw my boards on, I know where I'm screwing into. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these pens that we got from Doug Doug from Doug Doug's Clown World. And I'm just going to mark on the wall here where these are. So when my board's going over top of it, I can see where my screws got to go. 
So, and what I'll do is I'll mark on both sides like that. And this gives me just a good visual so I, so I can see wh where, my, where my studs are. And I'll go right down both sides of the trailer and do this all the way down. And then I will screw my, screw my boards on. This one, you can see this is, this one's a little different. It's got, it's got a, it's like reversed compared to the other ones. So I'm going to mark the whole thing. And well, that's right on the edge. So, there. Okay. I just need a short piece to finish this off. So I'm just gonna slap this up on here. Do a little measurement. Looks good. Cut it off. There we go. Now, I'm going to put on all my brackets once I figure out where they got to go. So, okay, I marked, I marked all along the stud here um, where, where our brackets got to go. So that when our posts come up, we can... When our posts come up, we can strap them right in and keep it up tight.
Oops. Ouch, don't do that. Okay. Okay. I got all my pieces marked where I want to cut them. So now I'm just going to cut these suckers off, debar them a little bit, and see what we got. Cut the rest of them, put these shelves together. Okay, now the next thing I got to do is um, these are the corner posts that the shelves hook into. And you see they, they fit right down in those little square holes down there. Okay, so these are the four corners. But the thing of it is, uh, they're a little tall. We want to cut these down because... Um, we want to be able to slide these shelves in and out of the back of the trailer without having to take them apart. So i got to figure out where they're going to be cut down to, trimmed down to. And one of the best ways I find to cut this stuff is to use a nail file. But if you don't have one of these, because not everybody files their nails, is you use one of these. Um, that's a chop saw. And it's got a steel, eighth inch steel cutting blade in it. And it just grinds its way right through the metal. So that's what I'm going to do next is I'm going to mark my posts, chop them off, and deburr them. And we're going to start putting these shelves together. Okay, there's one one side. Got the shelves in. And uh, 
they're tied in and we uh, kind of put them at different levels most of them will fit these bigger totes about like that and we should be able to get three across and a little little bit of room on the top and as you can see these would just barely make it out the door and then like i said we got got them staggered at different levels so because we got some of these shallow totes too for like your small stuff and and just tied them into the wall like that on either end and plus i uh tied them together and all that helps stuffing them up a little bit yeah but that's it that's one side and then uh i'm gonna put another one right here and then obviously in the front that'll leave that'll leave all this room in the front because we got the side door and we could just like you know stack more totes on the ground or whatever or maybe a piece of furniture or something going through the side door uh the next thing i'm going to fix is this corner piece right there because it looks ugly but yeah that's that's for another time first time the little red wagon is hooked up isn't she cute she's got a new thingy uh, the first time ever first time ever oh. and there's miss maggie Wait a minute before you take a picture. I can take my mask off. Oh, it's a video. Oh, well, I'm taking it off. There you go. She's taking it off. She's <laughs> oh. living life, man. <laughs> Breathing in the air. <laughs> oh, she looks so cute on it's here. Good. And the end result. Got the trailer at Mama's house. All ready to go. We're going to open it up and we're going to fill it with its first load to rehouse. All right. Opened up. Babes has the shelves all locked in. Time to fill it. If you're not already subscribed, you got to know what happens next. You want to know what I take out of here, right? Like and subscribe.